I am pretty analytical with decision making. Gosh, I'm always afraid of making a wrong decision. It's a yin and yang thing. Like, you can't have these incredible highs if you don't have incredible lows. You know, one of my favorite sayings is, let's just go there and see what happens. You know, we spend a lot of time planning, preparing, training, trying to work out the variables. But at a certain time when you're trying to do things that haven't been done before, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of things that you just don't know. Having to make choices that involve risk is part of what that flame is that keeps me going. Every intersection, there's a choice that I have to make. I feel a lot of pressure to make good choices in some ways because, you know, a lot of the stuff I do, honestly, is life or death stuff. I mean, that's that's what I like doing. My name is Steph Davis. I'm a climber and I live in Moab, Utah. For me, what I like is to really focus on something and pursue it very hard and then kind of switch gears a little and just find something that's a little off-piste. Cajun is my little rescue dog. She came off the reservation down at Montezuma Creek south of here and she's just this little wild desert critter. Ian's my boyfriend and partner in life and partner in adventures and we have a lot of respect for the other person's decision process. Sometimes I just feel like my life is filled with gear and over time I've gotten very focused on minimalism. So I like to have only what I need and exactly what it's for and just get rid of everything else and that's why I like to have things that are simplistic yet versatile. It's so nice having the van because it's really easy for us to pick up and throw Cajun in the van and just go off somewhere. I will not hesitate to cook exactly how I cook at home in like a front country environment because you know I've had a lot of nights in my life where it's freeze-dried soup in hot water and you turn the fuel off and you let it soak itself because you can't spare a drop of fuel. And you know, that's fine. But if I'm not in that sort of extreme environment, I'm gonna cook. My name is Eric Larson. I'm a polar adventurer and expedition guide. I've always been fascinated with cold places around the world. I like being this small person in these huge places. You know, it's just, this is just how I was built. So in one sense, I didn't choose this path. This path chose me. I mean, I love mountain biking. It's not like going to the gym and just doing something for half an hour or an hour. It's being on the bike for you know, four or five or sometimes even six hours. And that's just a start of what we get on these expeditions where we're out traveling, climbing, you know, whatever it is for eight, 10, 12 hours a day. I also do just a lot of general hiking and overnights. You know, you put a pack on and you start hiking up to 10, 11, 12, 14,000 feet here in Colorado. That's good training both from an altitude perspective as well as an, an overall physicality. I definitely try to get out pretty regularly, almost every week into the mountains with a pack, usually just on a solo mission. And I find that's great training overall. One of my greatest loves is camping. The ability to be able to share that with my kids brings me a huge amount of joy. It's like being in the world's biggest playground. And more importantly for the kids, it gives them the chance to learn on their own. It gives them this like blank slate to be as creative as they want to explore. And it helps build them up. My name is Hilary Nelson and I am a professional ski mountaineer and a mother. 
Gosh, it's, you know, on expeditions, you're faced with difficult choices every day. I live in Telluride, Colorado. It's amazing for high altitude training. I have trails right out my back door. Uh, the best part about Bear Creek is just that there's water everywhere, so when I'm running, I don't have to carry a lot with me, and I can just jump off the trail, go down to the main river, pull out the trail filter, drink water right there, and I don't really have to carry anything with me. Even when I come back from an expedition and I've been outside and camping for a month straight, it's really important for me to get my kids outside because it's just such an incredible experience for them individually, but then for us all together as well. And even if it's just one quick overnight trip or a big hike or whatever it is, it, it, it just, you can see the effect it has on their personalities and their energy and uh, it's just a necessity. I mean, I'm a total gear freak. I love multifunctional gear. And the idea that I can use the same high quality system that I use on a personal intense expedition and then transfer that into my family kit and get that same level of performance is it's awesome. And this is important stuff. Stoves, water filters. This is the life stuff. Um, I really like the new wind burner group. You've got the one liter pot for these small missions. Or we have the versatility of taking the 1.8 liter pot up to the base of a climb and having coffee and tea because we like to be fancy. Then you've got the sauce pot, skillet, and stock pot. When I'm with my kids, I've got that same burner and I've got all this other group of pots and pans. So having this, this one product group where you can just have the one thing and then kind of pluck this or pluck that or put it back together really fits in with how I operate. I spend a lot of time researching the right gear for my expeditions. Usually most of my planning does revolve around water. So having the trail filter, that allows me to go out places and just know anytime there's a water source, I'm drinking. Take the trail filter and you put it with the trail base. Really simple. So you can just hang that water on a tree, hook up the trail filter, to that system and then you just let gravity do the rest. I can either just get a quick sip or, again on some of these epic rides, I can just refill up my bladder and I'm good to go again. So it's great to be able to switch everything out. That system is so easy to use, so efficient, and it just makes my life so much easier because I'm not searching for all these different pieces of gear all the time. I think one of the choices I'm most proud of is the fact that I simply stuck with my dream. I wouldn't change where the choices have put me. Kind of doing this more minimalistic pare down, it just makes life so much better. Anything that can streamline a system, ease of use and multifunctional and take some choices off of my shoulders, I'm totally psyched about it. I think it's great.